Hey curl friends and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I sew down my lace frontal wigs. So I'm leaving for New York for about 24 hours and I really didn't want to have to worry about packing any kind of natural hair products for the airport at all for this little bit of time. So I went ahead and decided to go with a straight unit for this quick trip. So I went ahead and braided down my hair into this middle part braid pattern and I'm using some oil just to base down my scalp, get it nice and prepped to be under this unit. I will be keeping this unit on. As soon as I get home, I'm probably just gonna keep the same exact protective style in. I'm using a rubber hair elastic to go ahead and put everything into a ponytail and I'll go ahead and start to prep my unit. Now this unit is that Body Wave 13 by 6 lace frontal from Elva Hair Wigs. This is a 250 density unit. I still have it, still rocking with it. The lace on this unit is a little bit off as far as the color so I use some setting powder just to match my skin tone a little bit better. It is hot so I will not be using a cap under this unit. I use the elastic band method for this unit. So I put the elastic band at the nape of my neck and then I flipped my ponytail, which is the rest of my hair upward and pulled the unit over the elastic band. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and secure the wig onto my head, make sure that everything is laying where it should be. And I'm going to create that middle part as I will be wearing my hair in a middle part for this hairstyle. Now ideally for a style like this, I would usually start off on freshly washed hair. That way I could actually set the hair in that middle part, but I was in so much of a rush. I'm literally doing this the night before I have to leave. Beginning with my sides of my head, I'm gonna go ahead and just sew the lace down to my braids underneath. And I'm pretty much just gonna use this invisible stitch method or slip stitch method. I'm gonna go back into the same hole that I just created with the needle. So each and every time that I sew this, instead of me sewing and moving on to the next section, I'm just taking the tip of the needle and pushing it back through the hole that I create. So as you guys can see there, I stuck the needle through and when it came back out, I stuck it right back in the same hole that I just came out of. And that's what's going to create that invisible stitch look you won't be able to see the stitching at all no threads or anything and this is the method I'm going to be using for this entire unit once again I'm going from one side to the other so I'm on my right side now I'm sticking the needle through and then going right back into the same spot that I just came out of and then I'm going to secure it at the end I usually only like to secure the front of my wigs because at night I love to flip my unit up, get some you know air back there, <laughs> let it ventilate in the back of my head versus securing the entire thing down. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the hairline since the unit is pretty much stuck down on the left and the right. I'm going to make sure that the lace is not showing in the front so I'm just going to use the exact same method. I'm just going through the cap through my braid, pulling out, and then going right back into the same spot that I just came out of where the thread is hanging. As far as placement of these stitches towards my hairline, I'm making sure to leave a little bit of hair in the front of the hairline and going a little bit behind it, but I'm pretty much sewing down the hairline making this nice and flat and seamless. Towards the end, I go ahead and just create a small knot and then I cut it, but I don't cut it all the way down. I cut it leaving a little bit of thread left. That way I know where to cut to get this unit off of my head for an easy removal. And as you guys can see, I'm pretty much done. My entire unit is sewn down. So if you guys like to see how I go ahead and style this unit, go ahead and keep on watching. I'm just gonna lay down my edges with the edge control and gel method that I love to use. You guys have seen it before. I start off with my edge control first and then I set everything with some gel. It pretty much lasts me so much longer than just some greasy edge control look. 
You guys know that I swear by this method and I don't plan on bringing any edge control or gels with me on this flight. So I decided to go ahead and set them now. That way they're good for the 24 hours. And as far as styling, like I said before, this is a body wave hair, but I wanted to get a nice straight look, really, really simple. I'm just gonna throw a flat iron in my carry on. I'm not really sure if I'll have a lot of time to style my hair in the morning or throughout the day. So this is gonna be really, really quick and easy for me just do a few passes in the morning and keep it moving this is a really really quick trip like I said guys so I'm just using the flat iron on about 360 I believe or 380 just passing it through about one or two passes just to get it nice and bone straight that way I don't even have to worry about it the next day I may just have to do a few passes just to make it nice and sleek how I like it We're almost done. I'm just gonna do a few final touches. You guys can see I have a lot of flyaways. Like I said, I was not able to set this hair like I usually would on wet hair and allow it to dry in the middle part. So I just used a little bit of the a lot of body styling mousse, styling foaming mousse, just to lay down that middle part and a four bristle brush just to brush everything down the way it sets nice and flat. I'm going to widen out my part a little bit by plucking a little bit of the baby hairs that came on this unit. The unit came with baby hairs and they're a little bit long for my liking. So I just went ahead and plucked them out of the way. But my hairstyle is pretty much complete. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to enjoy this hairstyle like I said because this is a really really quick trip and it's going to save me so much time and my hair is so nice and protected underneath. It's going to be nice and comfortable i have no cap underneath like you guys saw and it's going to be a low maintenance hairstyle so i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next video